Hey Pilots, Drain Man here. Today I want to show you guys the Viva FPV F4 flight controller with OSD. We're going to go over it real quick. We're going to check out the pinout and see what kind of quality control we got here. See if we like this thing and see how see how they're doing. You know, let's let's put them on the spot. All right, guys. So we're back here. Let's go ahead and unpackage this thing. Uh, it's got a little Ziploc bag. We've got our connectors. Second connector. Got our FC. And this is something that I'm telling you right now. We are seeing this less and less. Where they actually give us some screws. To put our dang flight controller on the stack. That kills me man. You're going to give me a stack but no way to put it on. We got a set of grommets. Uh, we've got some nuts to lock it down. It looks like you have two different options. You've got the lock nut style and you've got the um, nylon style. So that's pretty nice. Some long screws. These are some M3 uh, screws. That's pretty sweet. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual hardware itself. Oh, wow. That is pretty nice. Look at that. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so the first thing we're seeing here is we are seeing our arrow. We are seeing that our arrow is facing this way. That means that our flight controller should be positioned like this inside of your quad. If you're new to building, just follow this arrow, point this arrow forward and you'll be all right. If you're not new, then you know what to do with that. All right, we got our boot button right here. We've got our connector pins. We're gonna talk about those. I'm pretty excited about that. We also have a connector pin back here. So we will talk about what these will do. Now, one thing you'll notice, it's even in the name, they're using the word PDB. So they're saying that this is a power distribution board. I do believe that's just another way to go ahead and say that this is an all-in-one. I mean, cause that's what it is. We can connect all of our ESCs right here. We've got our signal pads. Uh, right here, we've got our ground. We've got everything we want. So let's go ahead and go over some of the components. We have our microcontroller here. It's an STM32, so it's basically just an F4. We've got our gyro right here. This is a ICM2062, which is pretty nice. We have our USB connector right here. And other than that, this is a really nice board. We've got uh, our LEDs here. This is really nice. I'm liking this. All right, we've got some caps here. We've got our regulators. Let's see what else we got. Let's flip this guy over. Oh, very nice. We have here our OSD. This is a Betaflight OSD, so you can control your quad right from the remote or right from the goggles, your OSD. You can control it right from there. That should save you tons of time. Uh, this is very nice. This is a very nice build. So let's go ahead and go over our pinout. So what we got on the board is... We've got our ESC connections, we've got our ground signal for our ESCs, we have our RC connection right here, we have UART1 which is TX and RX, 5 volt ground and LED. I would imagine you're going to go ahead and just use these three for that. Uh, over here you have uh, your motor 3, uh, boom 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 boom, we've got motor 1, okay and then over here we have motor 4. That's about it on this side. And then as far as our connectors go. So let's go ahead and go over our connectors. Something super awesome is this connector right here. This is going to blow your mind. Here's what I'm going to do. Instead of telling you, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. Watch this. Watch what this connector can do. You ready? All right, did you see that? Okay, that was step one. You ready for step two? I know it's an old one, but cut me some slack. Here we go. Here we go. No way. Wait, are you telling me that's it? You're telling me that's it? I've got video now. I've ran power. I've ran uh, video, smart audio. Uh, I've ran everything. Regular audio, if you, you know. I mean, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. I mean, that's pretty freaking fantastic. So, I am excited about that. That's what that pin connector is for. And it comes with the connector too. So, you can't beat that. That's pretty awesome. Over here on this side is for our, this is your main board. So if you were to buy the Viva FPV 4-in-1, 
this is going to pair with it perfectly. So we're going to go over it uh, real quick. So your first pin is nothing. You won't use that. Second pin is ground. Then you've got your VCC. That is for uh, your main power. Then you've got a current sensor uh, wire. You've got your ground. You've got another dead wire. And then you've got motors one, two, three, and 4. And that would be what this connector here is for. Now I know you guys want to know what the connector right here is is for this connector right here is for you to plug this in here if I know how to do it yep it's gonna go in just like that blow and then this end is designed to go right in your camera what do you know so you're gonna tell me with the push of two connectors I've got my camera and I have my VTX ready to roll how phenomenal uh, if you decide not to run this with a 4-in-1, you will have to connect to the pads right here. I must say that I'm not really happy with the way this is. Um, I don't really care for this. I think that we should have a better way to connect. Uh, maybe some type of protruding connections. But, hey, you get what you get. You got what you got. Uh, you got space for a buzzer if you want to put it. What else do we have going on here? Uh, we've got 5 volt. We've got our 3.3 volts. Uh, if you need it, you got an extra ground here. Uh, you know, that looks like that's about it. So you've got UART3 right here, your TX and your RX. Uh, there is another thing, too. This does work seamlessly with the Diversity Crossfire Nano or the regular TBS Crossfire Nano. Um, I don't know if we went over it, but it's got 16 uh, megabytes of RAM. Uh, current sensor and camera and control included. It is a 30.5 by 30.5, so it's regular 30 by 30 stack. Uh, what else you got? Oh, I did measure these screws. I found out that these screws here are M3 by 22, so that's pretty awesome. If you guys don't know how to put it into bootloader mode, you will just hold this down while plugging in power, and it will automatically start up in bootloader mode. Um, and other than that, I am really liking what these guys are doing with this uh, flight controller. VV, Viva, Viva La Loca, Viva FPV is really doing their thing. Uh, it's pretty awesome, uh, the technology they're coming out with. I'm loving it. Uh, I love the fact that I can connect these two here. I mean, that's pretty sweet. In and maybe you'll get one of these. I'm going to try this one out in a build and see if I like it. You guys let me know if you like it, and thanks for tuning in.